Hey guys, Alfred Montan here. I'm a boater. I'll be straight up. I'm not even a Jeep guy. You just clicked on a Jeep uh, image. Probably a pretty girl, but you know what? I am here at SEMA and I got invited by Pat Express and I want to show you guys all the Jeeps that are here at the show. I don't talk about monsters, guys. This thing doesn't play around. So we're going to walk the show. Stay tuned. Check out all these videos of all these Jeeps. I get kind of crazy, so whatever. It is what it is. Let's do this. made in Italy so what are these guys 4x4 four four equipment all right guys oh my god you see you see guys you see this this is what makes me want to get a Jeep and just deck it out look at all these bumpers Monster Jeeps at the show, guys. This is what you're watching. How cool is this, dude? It looks mean as hell. I don't know. Hey, smash a like, guys. If you haven't smashed a like, smash a like. We need we, we need a bunch of likes so people can watch this video. Come on, stop acting brand new, bro. I know, I know. Listen, check out some of my boat videos. That's, that's what I really want you to check out. But for now, I'm going to show you some Jeeps. Let's, let's go find some Jeeps. Yeah. I do think we found an overachiever, guys. I don't know. What do you guys think? This guy is an overachiever for sure. Wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, guys. I mean. Dude. All right, I gotta, I gotta talk to somebody about this build because this is, this is just beyond sick. They're under a company called Hammerhead. It says Hammerhead up here, so smash a like if you guys know this company. Um, it's kind of early in the show. Maybe I can find somebody to talk about this. But uh, I'm assuming they do these doors and stuff. All this, look at all these. That is pretty sick, bro. No, that's not pretty sick. That is the sick, the sickest so far. So far that I've seen, this is one of the sickest ones. Here's another one, soft top. And uh, it's got also a little camp uh, tent back there in the top. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I got to ask these guys in this industry what they call these things. I mean, obviously it's a tent, but they might have their own spiel of what they call it. This is the SunTap Ultimate Concept. So, let's see if there's a website here. Maybe I can show you guys. They're here, but it's, it's the brand is called SunTap, guys. All right, so, um, I don't know. Is this a Gladiator or is it, I mean, wait, hold on. I'm confused here. This, or this is a like, yeah, it is. It is. They just went ahead and modified it like to the max. This is probably one of those, you know, Baja rigs. I don't know, man. Look at this. Look, look how nuts. These guys are nuts. Look at this. They go ahead and. Yeah. I would say that's a, a statement, to say the least. It's nice ones too. Same over here. Another Gladiator. And this is uh, the Cognito brand, guys. And, uh, no, I'm sorry. This is not the Cognito. This is the Spicer Drivetrain products. And... Uh, This is what they're talking about here. We just got here to, what is this? This is JKS Manufacturing here at SEMA, guys. So, as we're doing, we're showing you guys all the 
monster jeeps at the show, guys. When I say monsters, it's because they're they're just monsters. These things are absolutely absolutely on a league of their own. You see this out on the street, you're gonna be breaking neck. You'll probably crash. Um, the guys here at JKS Manufacturing are showcasing this bad boy. Got a little video going. <laughs> I, I gotta go ahead and do a, a ride on one of these one of these days. See see what the hoopla is about. All right, we're under the bodyguard. Bodyguard. Ooh, this looks kind of all rugged. Oh yeah, I like that. You see the. Uh, God. We are talking about some major, major work here, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Very nice. Beautiful. This has got some more features. And Wow, this one looks really nice. God. Oh my goodness, dude. I didn't see it a little further. The further back I got, I was like, wow. This is pretty sick. This is, uh, I kind of like these right here too, huh? Like, you just want to just blind everybody. They're not going to be able to see you coming. More lights up here. Great, great truck, guys. You know what? I wonder if it's open. Oh, it is. Wow. Guys, you're, if you see me buy a Jeep or I'm in a Jeep, this is why this SEMA show just kind of like messed up my head. I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna front. I'm, this is sick. I mean, who wants a, who wants a speedster when you can go ahead and have this? Oh, I just came into uh, Rigid. And uh, these guys, I guess, make all the lights for like all these custom Jeeps. Guys, I'm a novice, man. Smash a like if I sound like a rookie. I mean, and you can put some hate comments too. I love those. Sorry, guys. No, it's all right. Uh, lights. Dude, look at the amount of accessories that you can put on these gladiators. Wow, this thing is gonna be a game changer. This, this truck is, imagine the options, dude. You wanna go camping, you wanna do this, that, leave. So look, we just changed the lights to red. Let's look at some of their lights so you guys can see some of their cool lights. Um, I don't see why some of these lights wouldn't be used in the boating industry, guys. I'm, that's what, what I'm in. I'm in the boating industry. But, uh, hey, one of the reasons I'm here, I want to see the innovations in the car industry to kind of like, you know, be like, hey, come, come, let's make a marine application. Optical zone. Let's see what we got here. All right. Cool. It's a cold display. Yeah. All right, guys, let's find another Jeep. Here's another Jeep. And uh, there's a company here called Rival that makes um, the, they're, they're aluminum here. They were telling me this is aluminum, aluminum. And then the fenders here, they said that they're steel. But look how cool this is, dude. And this is, this like, I mean, this stuff looks really, really nice, man. Nice lights and accessories. That is awesome, man. Um, you check out some of the stuff here. 
But there you are, guys. Another nice uh, Jeep. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one. Guys, look at all the famous people here at the show. All right, all right. We got something interesting to look at. I think, I think we could work with this. Man, let me tell you. I am starting to become a fan of these Jeeps because of all the things you could do with them. This little Jeep pickup truck. I, I think this might be it, guys. This Is this the one I'm going to fall in love with? I'm talking about the Gladiator, guys. We're going to do it my way, but, but this is incredible. Look at all the shock suspension. And get in here. See if we can show. Very nice, guys. There's another one over here. Guys, I'm an infant when it comes to the Jeep world, so disregard my uh, lack of knowledge on this. I mean, I just want to show you guys all this great footage of this incredible stuff you have the hard top there I just showed a company that had a soft top that you know you press a button and you close it up let's see what we got over here they should they should call the SEMA show a Jeep show because there's so many Jeeps over here I wonder, I mean, look at this. How cool is that, huh? I mean, I gotta start talking to some of these people. It's, it's early in the show, the, the show hasn't opened up yet, so this is why I'm able to take advantage of this time before everybody starts getting over here. Oh, and there's some amazing Jeeps outside. So let's stay tuned, we're gonna, but we still got a bunch of them in here. What do we got over here? If I sell enough Pad Express guys, I'm gonna buy one of these right here. With the little house on the top and everything, the little tent. How crazy is this, dude? I mean, guys, Jeeps are all the rage. Look at this off-grid trailer, look at this. Hold on, let me finish here first. Oh my goodness, bro. You know what? Look how cool this thing is. This thing comes out and it slides all the way in. Dude, we're regressing. We are regressing in the boat industry. These, look at all the innovation these people have, bro. Look at this, guys. These guys are basically have a place to live for a weekend, to chill, stay away from the sun. Oh my God, this is crazy. Yeah, we, we, we got to step up our game oh, in the boating industry, guys. <laughs> Look at this one over here. This is even more. Good morning. Good morning. It's a very nice concept. Thank you. Congrats. Really? Thank you. Thank you. Do you uh, have success? Yes. I had, I'm sure. But it's a really a bed inside, a, a, a look. And this is, wow. oh, the kitchen, have a look. Oh my God. Oh, power's off. It's Let me turn off some power. That, that is it's, it's crazy. It's incredible, it's incredible. That is, that is awesome. It's awesome. Guys, they're open. This is awesome is a good thing in America. It's awesome. awesome. Frenchie, come here. Awesome is awesome. Awesome. Look at that, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Uh -huh. oh my That's God. the word of the day, guys. Word of the day is look at that. Frigo, oh. frigo, frigo. Do you need some beer? No, this is not. You you open it. Okay. Look at that. We have some beer. Champagne for madame. Nice. 
So primarily these are used to pull to be pulled behind like a Jeep and then... <clears throat> a Jeep or a small SUV, trucks, radiators. And there's a little sleeping area in here too, huh? Yeah, there's a room inside. Oh my god, dude, you gotta be kidding me, bro. People, you have your TV? Yes, 2,300 pounds. No, no, the weight. 2,300? Yeah. yeah, how much it weighs? It weighs, weight. How heavy? Heavy. Ah, what is the price? 34, 34. 34, okay. Oh my god. Have a look, it's a room. This is TV. TV. And it, uh, is there, are those wheels? They have their own suspension. Yes. So they independent. So, yeah, independent suspension. Thirty-three. Watch your back. Oh, 33 gallons of water. Hot water shower. Are you guys also on that side too, or no? No. No. This is a whole separate system. Yes. So, so you have another sleeping area up here. Yes. Wow, that's crazy. Let me see if I if there if I can see anything up here. Oh my god, this is even bigger up here. <laughs> Dude. What you got? So you don't even have to I'm recording for our YouTube channel. So. Sure. So you just pull this, you go to wherever you want to go, you drag your... it in the backwoods, drag it on the best views you can find and just hang out and open it up. Everything you need. And you're telling Libro it's about thirty-five thousand dollars. So thirty-four thousand. Thirty-four thousand dollars. So it starts at uh, twenty twenty-three nine. Okay. Twenty-five nine, and then we go up in tents and awnings and heaters and second fridges and all that. Office. So I want to get the other side of the awnings and stuff because, yep. dude, look how big this awning is. That is incredible, dude. So, yes, sir, I'm right here. so this is, I mean, I, I'm a boating guy, just so you know. So I like to camp and I like to hike and stuff like that. Sure. But uh, I would look, for instance, I, yesterday I came and I came across this Dometic. Dometic fridges? The, the fridges. I didn't even know this was out there. Like this is, you guys have a whole world I didn't even know exists. <laughs> when you stop buying ice, the world changes. It, it gets uh, better. It, isn't, it, isn't it crazy? Yeah. So you can... He, the guy was telling me that he has a little at the medic that there's a little box that you can have this a power pack a power pack correct for two days correct and he says it hardly draws anything and and it's 28 degrees right now yes so i told I, I asked him i go can i program it to, so i can put my beer exactly i mean i would only I keep use... it at 27 degrees and my beer stays frosty every day oh my god you see <laughs> guys we're doing this wrong forget about the boats we're gonna have to do this whole camping bit um and you guys have like badass tires and lifted suspension, independent suspension, 33 gallons of water. Where are you guys making these? So we manufacture in Edmonton, Alberta. Okay. And then we distribute in the States through a couple of different vendors. And what's the name of the brand? Off Grid, Off -grid trailers. trailers. Is this one of the only models you have or no, do you have other a, ones? We have a second model. It's right here in the picture. It's a expedition model, so it's got a 45 degree departure angle with a side galley, a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. This one's 1,800 pounds. This trailer's 23. Why would somebody pounds. want that one as opposed to this one? The rear clearance, okay. a little more accessibility on off-road trails. You so, can... so if you want to get a little bit more aggressive, go over big. Correct. Okay. Correct. They're both built for off-road backcountry. One's a little more aggressive than the other. Well, listen, I don't want to take up a lot more of your time. I know you guys are. Are setting up now we're just bombarding everybody you're good the, here at the show hey guys check them out off good trailers i know i know you got i know Those guys on the truck. it's 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 not a boat but look let me tell you i'm gonna give you guys some cool stuff to take a look at there's a nice one too we're now uh, uh at a booth called road armor and uh they got a lot of cool stuffs on there so let's see What do you guys think? Nice mean bumper. That is nice. <coughs> it's 
So this is where you guys put your stuff. These this roto packs. I gotta I gotta do a video video of these guys. They have a lot of cool stuff. And it's where you put your fuel. You know, remember guys, you're 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 going like far. You wanna carry as much fuel safely. And those guys got a premium product, so I'll showcase. I, I walked them yesterday, but I wasn't on camera. Look at this. This this fascinated me too. This is actually uh, so. Can fuel go in here? Uh, that's just a, a, a a track pad that you put underneath your tire to roll it off like if you're stuck. It, but but it, you can have a uh, moto pack to one out that you can put on the other too. ones. Okay. So, so so if you get stuck, you can. I like this. Look at this. You can just put your lights. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, so the people here at Road Armor, they got all these cool stuff. What do we got here? Another bumper system. Uh, I would say this is kind of cool. All right, all right, guys. This is this is why, this is why you want to go ahead and come to SEMA. So here's another Jeep company. Look at this. That's it. That's it. Can you close it from there? Absolutely. No. Dude. Oh God! Look at this. You gotta be kidding me, bro. You have to be kidding me. That's it, man. You know bang, what? Bang. This show has made me want to buy a Jeep. <laughs> you know why? Yeah. Because I didn't even know how many cool things you guys can make for these Jeeps, dude. Yeah, now the Jeep is like a little tinker toy. I mean, for boys, you can just add on any whatever you want, man. Do you want suspension? Do you want a, t a cool top? Whatever, so, man. So look, let, let's come outside. I want to yeah. talk about this product real quick. Sure. So introduce yourself so they can know who you are first sure my name is ben keely i'm with my top based out of atlanta georgia out of atlanta so you guys are building these tops in atlanta uh we actually build them in mexico in mexico and they're engineered uh in germany okay so here's my my next question is this top only for a certain amount of jeeps are the newer ones the older ones what what what's what's the idea with these sure uh they're for the jk's and the jl's right now so this is the jk right here so the 2006 is up to the 2017 uh or rather 2018 when they do the jk's in the two and the four door then we got the jl over here we got the four door out we got the two door coming out for the jl real soon what so what's what's jk and jl for so those, those are the models know. the model years so you know for about a 10 11 year span that's the wrangler okay so from 2006 to 2018 was the jk's this okay. is when they came out with these for right. that we had the uh the tj's i believe and then um, this is the JL. So this is what they came out with in 2018. So it was the, after 10 years, they went ahead and updated this. What about the Gladiator and all that stuff? I've been seeing a lot of those. Yeah, well, we're working on our Gladiator. We brought out our prototype. We're going to have a convertible top for the Gladiator. Uh, so you can see it on back here. This will be full on convertible right now. They've got a little half top, soft top that you do on the, on the that stock. Uh, but, you know, we want to make it full convertible because that's what people want. So that, that's one of the things that I think I didn't really, as somebody who doesn't have a Jeep, but I, I'm here taking advantage of this show and just, I mean, I'm so fascinated with all the Jeeps that are here. Yeah. One of the things that kind of bothered me, I was like, why am I going to get something that I have to go ahead and get out of the car, zip it up, and you yeah. know, and it becomes Absolutely. a mission. And the last thing I want, I want to explore, but I don't want to be on a mission either. Yeah. So this kind of like takes it away. What, it's two oh, notches? It so I can't tell you how many people I talk to say, you know, they they just don't take the top off they give up on taking the top yeah off but that's the whole it's that's the whole reason the that's exactly. the whole reason they get a jeep and then they give up on it because yeah. you know there might be a 20 percent chance of rain that afternoon yeah. and they can't no. they can't be running and like having to deal with it you know in the middle of the afternoon so you have yeah. two latches yeah two latches so i mean it's as simple as you just grab this handle here hit one latch hit the other latch and, and press, press the button and press the button bang you never leave your yeah. seat you can do it at a stoplight where, where can they go online to go check this uh, product out? They can out? find us at mytop.us. Mytop. Guys, a. Hey. But we do ship internationally, so we're not just for the U.S. It's uh, innovation. You guys are changing the game. 
You We're see? trying to, man. Hey, we think it's a game changer. I, I think so too. Look, I'll tell you what, this this might make me want to buy a Jeep. So hey, <laughs> Chrysler or or I know support these guys because well you don't want them to do that. I almost thought I asked what did I ask you? I guess I said Chrysler doesn't make a, an yeah. option for this? Yeah, no, it's a question I've heard so many times here. It's and the people it, come up and go, why aren't they doing this themselves? But, I mean, but hey, know, I, I, at the end of the day, you that's business take, opportunity. Take a, uh, yeah, uh, free free markets and capitalism, baby. Nothing Absolutely, better than that. that's it. That's Find the gap and <laughs> fill it, man. All right, guys, we're out of here. My top. Excellent. Boom. <laughs> that's All right, we got 4x4powerful.com here showing off um, some bumpers as well. And we also have some what we got going on here. Powerful. It's incredible the amount of, of accessories, guys. When I tell you incredible, um, it's like they they have their own. I mean, look at this. If I mean, this is like the iPhone, right? So you you can buy any other phone, but you're not gonna get on none of the none of the accessories. But this, I mean, that's <laughs> a hard a hard analogy to use. But I mean, you guys have all the options, dude. Everybody builds stuff for these type of cars. You name a Ranger that's gonna have Ford Ranger that's gonna have this type of no, it doesn't have none of this stuff. This is kind of cool. I'm digging this. Um, Roto packs again. Um, I really like this. This. Uh, oh man, that's this even comes down. No way, dude. That's crazy. We're gonna have to go to those people soon and talk about that. Another gladiator here, and uh, it looks very nice. We got the people from Rock Slide Engineering. Look, they got another one here. So this is kind of like this. This will kind of be like my gig. Right, my gig would be a mountain bike, maybe a surfboard, or a kayak. You see, I, I can visualize. This is why I'm doing this video, man. That's a badass mountain bike, too. So. <coughs> that is really, really cool. Hey, guys, wait a second. Before we get out of here, we got... We got Trail Recon here from YouTube, guys. Hey, guys, do it, guys. Hey, so look, if you want to check out even more videos on all the SEMA stuff, you got, I already saw a lot of crazy stuff that they have online. Check out Trail Recon. We got Brad over here in the house, and uh, he's doing a lot of, a lot of Jeeps here. Incredible, huh? An amazing amount of gladiators. It, I think somebody said there's over 70 of them. I, I, I don't think I have enough SD cards to, <laughs> to, to film all this. Right. Guys, check them out. Don't forget to check out Trail Recon over here at the SEMA show. Thanks, guys. Cool guys, it's always cool to see channels like like Trail Re Recon and there's a lot of, there's a lot of YouTube content creators here. Um, we got some we got a Jeep over here. Oh my goodness, that is interesting. Pro Eagle over here. Look at this. Oh, I like this. For a boat. Ooh, I'm kind of digging this. Hold on, hold on. Honey, honey, honey. Honey, we might need one of these. How cool is this for a boat, dude? Or any trailer. Rampage, we're over here at the Rampage section. Let's look at some of the stuff that they have. I'm almost sad that I didn't find another gladiator. <laughs> There's so many gladiators here at the show, guys. Um, Look at all these. Just more Jeeps. Oh, look, look what we got here, Becca. I know, I know, I know. I know, relax. We're going to get over there too, guys. But I definitely want you guys to see all these.
Holy smack, smash that like if I'm annoying you by now. I, Cause I, I'm, I'm annoying myself. It's almost the same thing, man. I just turned on the GoPro. Uh, there's a GoPro 8, by the way, guys. So that's what I'm shooting with for this show. Look at this. You can put an ATV up here. Man, oh man, I'm starting to... I probably wouldn't even have considered this truck if I would have seen it there out on the street. But now that I've seen all the cool things you could do to it, you just add more and more and more and more. And before you know it, you have the truck of your dreams. pickup trucks anymore well, check out the gladiators here's here's the uh, iron cross automotive that looks pretty sick I don't know what do you think Got some cool stuff. Let's go check out some of their. I like this. This is kind of different, very different. Very clean looking. Very, very clean looking. Let's look at that side angle on that. See that? It, it almost just blends in with a better angle. Here at Line X, guys. So, truck gear by Line X. Um, what do we have here? You want to show how it goes on and off, or your? You want to show how it goes like on? Show that front door. Yeah. They're putting it back on. Let's see. Might as well, I'm doing a video on all these Jeeps. All right. What is, uh, what company is this? This is uh, Rough Country. Rough Country. So it's pretty simple. Well, Birdie, attach this from, strap from him in here. Okay. So it goes uh, right on there, so uh, it'll come off. All right, nice. And then uh, just on the other side, all you have two nuts. Unscrew them. And that's it? Simple as that, yeah. Dude, that is too easy. <laughs> you, were supposed to, you were supposed to make it hard or sorry, something. Man. I'm sorry, man, but I don't know if I can even use this video anymore. That's it. Dude, you made it look too easy. <laughs> and then you can put your regular doors back when you want to go ahead and be a civilian. Yep, exactly. When the fun's over, put the regular doors back. show hours are from 9 a.m. Wow. to 5 p.m. It's a beautiful day. Make sure to break Where can they go online to check out this door? Uh, I can go uh, to roughcountry.com. Rough Country? Mm -hmm. right, You'll right. find the uh, side steps, lift, rims. What, what, uh, what lift? On this is oh, oh, six so, inch. So, so you guys, you guys all. Suspension lift. Oh, rims. oh, so you guys even do that too? Cool. And we've got the floor mats, all weather floor mats. All weather? Mm -hmm. All custom fit. What's up with these gladiators, man? I'm, I'm new to this. I'm, I'm, I'm literally wanting to buy one of these trucks after being at the show. My wife's gonna go ahead and shoot me. <laughs> well, they took over the show this year. This normally the Wranglers, but with the uh, new gladiator coming out this past spring, it's 
taken over as it, you've probably seen they're, all over the place. They're, they're everywhere, dude. And I'll, right. I'll tell you, they got so many, they got so many accessories for oh, yeah. these. There's a ton of ways to trick them up. I, I'm like literally blown away. So, I mean, I'm doing this video of showing them all these Jeeps, right? Because mm -hmm. I see all these cool Jeeps and all these accessories. And I think I want to buy one because of all the cool things you could put on them. Oh yeah, they're endless. Right down to, you got these bed mats. Nice grip, nothing slides. I saw tents that you can put on the top of these. I mean- Oh, everything. Oh yeah. Dude. No, it's incredible. It, like I said, it's endless. It's endless. It literally is endless, guys. Here at the SEMA show, where can they go online? Rough Country? RoughCountry.com, as well as MaxLander.com. MaxLander. Custom fit floor mats. All right, guys. Hey, check them out. More custom stuff here at the SEMA show. And I am going to show you the winches because these are on every single Jeep. The worn winch is on every single Jeep here at the show, guys. I mean, not everyone, but you know, I'm, I'm just using that as, a, as an example. Um, this is incredible. Got our brand new. All right, so we, here's another one. This is this is a, another one. What is this? Oh wow! Look at this. I wonder. Oh, they have it locked. Be prepared. More doors. They have their own doors. You got to be kidding me, dude. That is crazy. Oh my god. Fab Ford. Uh, good. FabForbes.com here with another gladiator. This one has. Oh my god. This is it, guys. This is it. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. Oh my god. How sexy is this, dude? Look at all these accessories. Now this is this is dope. I re I'm really digging this. Wow. Look at the bumper with the worn winch. Yeah, I think this is a good way to do it. You know, you get your. Dude, who needs who needs an RV when you can go ahead and just get a gladiator with one of these little tents? Smitty built. Bad fours, man. That is great. More doors here. Man, this thing looks really nice, guys. Fuel, fuel packs. The seating area, man. Look at this awning here that you pull out. That's not fire, guys. That's not fire, but it looks like it. It looks like it. Hey, smash a like for the people at Fab Four, man. Dude, these guys are tearing it up. What a beast at the show. Wow. Absolute monster. We got some accessories here. ARB 4x4 accessories. Um, see, I didn't even know this stuff existed prior to this show. You know how many times I've been stuck? Not in a Jeep, just because I like to explore and like rentals. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding, Alamo. Relax. Don't, don't dislike my video. This is kind of dope. I like this one. Look at these. Look at, look at these lights. Now, that's what I'm talking about. This thing looks like it'll kill you. I love it. Just go ahead and smash anybody. I'm 
definitely getting the feel for the Jeep world, guys. All right. I'm already done. At this point, I think... I don't know. I feel like leaving here and just going to the dealer. Getting me a Gladiator and just like... Okay. Tell my wife, honey, I just bought a car. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean you're leaving me? I just want to pick... Oh my God, me. Hold on, no, no. No, there's more, there's more. There's more. Oh my God, there's so many gladiators here at the show wow i really like the white ones man this looks really cool great question So this is uh, DZ, Rotopacks on the sides, we're going to walk through these guys in a little bit guys, we'll talk about them a little later. But the Gladiators have taken over the SEMA show guys, they literally have literally taken over the SEMA show. Let's look at another monster over here, we got one over here. Man, I gotta see this one too. All right, check this out here. Look at this thing. This is not uh, your traditional Jeep, guys. This is this is so cool. I wouldn't, I would love to be driving around in this thing to talk about full, full, full. Oh, there's a door open on the other side. Well, what does that mean, Becky? I don't know, but this, this should win best in something. So cool, dude. And this is the uh, Truck Hero. It's a 1964 M677 Jeep. Looks really cool, guys. We continue Monster Jeeps at the SEMA show. All right, so there's uh, another option here for a top but this looks like a manual top guys I'm putting all this stuff on here so so you guys can just see everything yourselves, you know? It looks like this is how it... The company here is called Best Top. And, uh, how does this close and open? How does it... How do you open and close it? Show your announcement. Yeah, can you? That's it. Yeah, I'll show you more. It's pretty cool. So these latches, you know, they usually hook right there. So okay. you just flip that open. Cool. Black hand of that side storage. You have much enough. Thank you. Or come back here. Flip these up. 
And that's it. Yep. That is nuts. Can't, how, how, how fast is it to install and to remove? We got time to actually the other day. Okay. They clocked us in at 30 seconds. Oh Super man, simple. dude, that's quick. Super easy, zipperless, so everything goes on, goes off, pretty really simple. So it's all manual, you just press, yep. you know, just pull it, boom. Yep, all manual. Guys, we're over here at SEMA Best Top here at the show. We're over here at Weston. Um, this is a cool gladiator. It looks like it's got a wrap. Absolutely amazing. I want to start working. <laughs> oh man, look at this. How cool is this? A little UTV police. Dude. See, this is type of stuff that you can, you see, I can modify this and put it on a dinghy, have extra fuel if I wanted to go ahead a little further. This is why I'm here at the show, guys. I'm a boat guy, all right? I'm doing this Jeep video, but I'm a boat guy. You know, I restore boats, I fix dinghies, I get sunken Verados and take them out of 100 feet of water, all that crazy stuff. And that's why I'm here. I want to see the the, the innovations that there's in the car industry that we can maybe kind of like get them towards the marine industry oh look i don't really like this 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 is looking really hot look at this Got another one over here. What do we got, Kurt? Um, we got here. Um, have you guys seen enough Jeeps, or do you actually want me to go outside? If you want me to go, out, listen. If you want me to go outside, I'll go outside. I'll, I'll go outside. I'll let you see the ultimate ultimate monsters i'm talking about the scary stuff the stuff that's gonna make you go <gasps> honey honey get me the advil i think i have a heart attack what are those you want to see that special like if no no like no like no jeep all right so this is kind of interesting how cool is this dude oh my goodness all right, so if you didn't have a reason to buy a Gladiator, I think you're you're getting one this show, right? They're so versatile, guys. We have another one here. You girls want to talk about this Jeep? Yeah, uh, it's a Jeep. 2012. It's, it's orange. The Jeep or our <laughs> Come brother? on, I'm, I'm doing a video for YouTube on Jeeps. Who can talk to me? That's the boss mark over here. Are they busy? I don't think so. What's, what's up, man? How you doing? Good, mate. Yourself? Good. I am doing a video on all the Jeeps at the show. Yeah. So I don't know much about them. I'm a boat guy, but you know oh, what? I okay, saw, okay. I saw, I was like, you know what? I got invited here. I was like, you know what? I see a lot of cool Jeeps and I'm fascinated with all the accessories. So can you talk to me about yeah, some man. of the stuff you guys make? I'm Mark. 
Alfred, ah, oh, all right. So, Mark, what's up, man? What do we got? Yeah, so we've got Rhino Hard Range. This is like a body armor for your truck. Okay. So, when you go off road, actually, this is actually the whole thing comes off. What? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, it gets better. Do it, do it again, do it again. Wait, wait. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my the god. The panel comes off. Oh I mean, my you can god. feel it, man. It's nice and lightweight. Oh my god. So you won't scratch it up. You're Correct. not. Dude. Oh so, my god. So good you see, I'm is... blown away here again. <laughs> this this place is sick. <laughs> well, the cool thing about our product is it's fully molded to the vehicle. Okay. So you can see how well it fits there. The panel actually sits off the vehicle surface, so you've got an air gap in there. So no moisture or anything's going to damage your paint and get trapped behind. It'll take an impact. Can it fall if I'm going really, really fast or no? No, man, it's never come it's, off. It's like, never come off. And so you smash through all sorts of portions with it. You try, you don't really Nothing. It's a 1.5 millimeter thick ABS plastic. We've got rare earth neodymium magnets on there. What models do you make them for? Uh, so we're doing JK now, two door, four door. Um, going Gladiator, right yeah. Now. Gladiator is coming, we're hoping March 2020. March, guys. So this whole thing is all protected, dude. Yeah. That is crazy. In and and out it gets like better. That. It just packs into that kit. Like so you leave this here, you put it in the kit, yeah, and you're done. Chuck it on when you go on the trails. Dude. Come home, your castle This like SEMA that. show, my God, I'm going to have to buy a Jeep because of this damn show. <laughs> my wife is going to hate me. You know what? She's, she's going to she's gonna love you because you're going to no, protect it with the run. I, I, I know. I know. I'm going to have to get rid of one of my boats now to get a Jeep. <laughs> damn. All right, guys, we're here. Don't forget to check them out. Where can they go online to see your, your uh, site? www.rhinohide.com.au Or you can go to Amazon now. Our products are available uh, next day shipping. Guys, they're over here at the SEMA show. Oh my God, this is horrible. This is horrible. Wait, wait guys. I'm the guy who lost you the You lost the rider. I saw that. I was like, holy shit. I know. <laughs> but so, then you found it. I got it. I can't believe you found yeah, it. I found it. it. Guys, if you haven't seen that video, I'm so cool. I'm so glad. Uh, the, one of the reasons why I'm doing this video is because I think that people in the Jeep world mm. like to explore, and so do people with boats. Of course, yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's a good it's a good se uh, segue, right? So how cool it is! I'm here yeah, doing sorry, a man. walkthrough, sorry. and sure enough, he saw the. And you know what? Did you see the video that we started it? Oh, you started it again? No, I didn't see we that started one. It. I saw you recover it. We, I saw you we, lose we, it, recover it, it, but now you started it. And we started. It. And the last thing is, we're gonna put it on a boat, run it. And then we're gonna give it to charity, and then we're gonna tell Mercury, where were you, bro? Where were you, Mercury? Hey man, make, where sure, were you? make sure you tighten the bolts this time, though. Eh? No. I it's coming up, guys. It's starting. Oh my God! Yeah, that's what we're talking about, baby. She's here. I know, I know you guys can't visualize. It's hard. I know it's hard. Trust me, it's hard. I'm gonna have that thing going. But guys, that's it. We did it. Oh yeah, lots of water. Lots and lots and lots of water. It's not too, too bad. I mean, you're starting to see a little bit of... Here's another, uh, I don't know, this is another Gladiator. This is pretty cool. I like this one. What are they? Truck caps. Man, guys. Guys, guys, guys. I think this show has really damaged my head when it comes to uh, 
mind this boat. Mind this uh, Jeep. It's just so cool. This looks mean. I really like the end. Wow, this looks real mean. I like that. Ooh, I like that a lot. Another gladiator here, guys. And uh, we're here at the Lear section. There's another one. Dude, so what do we got going on here, man? I mean, so, you got 13s, they're knockoffs, and uh, they're on the Quake LED light truck, man. Uh, everybody's doing gladiators on 40s, we thought we'd throw ours on 13s. Got to do it different here. I, I'll tell you what, I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> and you guys are, you guys are riding them on 13. Let me tell you we something. We got a spoiler on the back, you know, to keep those little wheels on the ground. So make sure you get that, a couple kegs for the end of the day. So tell me about tell me about the lights. So we are Quake LED. Uh, we're out of Denver, Colorado. We make lighting uh, and lighting solutions for yeah, a lot of different applications. This particular truck, we have what's called our quad lock box on. Okay. Um, and what a quad, what quad lock box does is it integrates all your lighting solutions together. Um, you have your courtesy lights to come on when you hit your key lock. Uh, or open your door, so courtesy lighting. Uh, then you have your designated channels for indicators, so your flashing ambers also hits the rock lights, the wheel lights, so everything flashes. Uh, and then you have your brake. Uh, any rear-facing light uh, will turn red when you hit your brakes, or it'll also flash red when you're turning. Can you use this on a marine application on a boat? You can. Absolutely. You can. Absolutely. Dude, I might, I might have an idea. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Let's write some orders, my friend. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Where can they go online to check out your... QuakeLED.com. So you're going to probably need a hitch. And if you need a hitch... You guys want to talk about this online? You want to? Let me... Let me no, it's... it's uh, I mean... Tell me about it. I'm doing a video on Jeeps. And uh, I'm sure there's people that need... Uh, Hitches and so let me know what you got. What, what, what do we got here? So these are uh, adjustable drop hitches as you can see. The, the really nice thing about it, especially for the Jeep guys, is going to be your ability to you'll actually be able to remove these ball mounts. You can use this with bike racks, cargo carriers, uh, tow bars, you name it. Any accessories will actually fit in here. Okay. Uh, and it is adjustable. Obviously you've got your 2 and 5 sixteenths, your 2 inch and probably not a big thing in in the jeep community uh, but this is for a pinnel or you can use it for a recovery strap so you drop your strap okay. or your pinnel across nice. bring this out pin it in place now that that strap can't come up out of there sweet so i'm assuming you guys have a lot of boaters too boaters uh we actually so one of the one of the things that we're doing with with this product here is this actually has a torsion flex technology in it so as you load chum weight on here it's actually being cushioned here this single flex and it's it's being cushioned by these uh this torsion flex in here uh and so all of your chum weight is being being absorbed right here instead of transferring through to your truck you're absorbing 90 percent of that inertia between truck and trailer wow uh so we've got a bunch of different sizes i'll actually take you over here uh, and show you this product so this is our newest the glider this is our lightweight model uh, so this is designed for 200 up to 700 pounds of tongue weight uh, 7,000 pound capacity uh, and it retails at 194. We also have it available with a longer drop if you need a longer drop uh, for that style. So. And this is a new product that you guys are showing here at SEMA? Correct. Yeah, this is our, our new product for, for SEMA. This so 194? Year. Yeah, 194. All right, guys. And where can they go online to check out these uh, hitches? So genyhitch.com would be the best place. And yeah, you can all, we do all map pricing. So that, that 194 should be anywhere online that you see. And they, they should be at 194. Um, what do we got on this side? 
So and that's you, basically the same thing that we okay. saw over here. Okay. Uh, we do have that torsion flex technology available and a fifth wheel to gooseneck conversion for anybody that's doing any fifth wheel uh, towing. Okay. Uh, so this is the fifth wheel to gooseneck with that torsion technology built into it. Uh, then we have this same the same thing uh, in a king pin if you're looking for a king pin. So this would be the same thing, the fifth wheel king pin uh, with the built-in torsion flex technology. Wow, so that's all new. Is there anybody else doing that or you guys got a patent on this? This is all, everything in our booth is patented. We hold, uh, currently hold about 12 patents and there's uh, about six or eight more pending right now. So everything is, is patented. Guys, the people here at Gen Y Hitch, crazy, crazy. I, I mean, this show has got me like... <laughs> I can't come back here. I can't come back here next week, next yeah. year. One because I won't afford it. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a Jeep I saw today. Right. And then my wife will probably need me. I'll lose my boat. Yeah, but you know what? Sometimes <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do to get your your hitch, your Jeep. I'm out of here. Thank you so much, guys. We're here at SEMA. We are here at Body Armor. Wow, look at that. That's kind of cool. Um, look at this thing. I haven't seen one like this yet. It's so crazy. Gladiator up here. Hey, this is a guy's Phoenix, right? Well, so there you go. Well, I kind of like these doors. These doors are cool. What do you guys think? Some rigid lights. Man, I am so bugged out with all the stuff this year. Here's another one. What do we got here? XK Glow. Oh, these are oh, these are lights. We're showing off all the lights, guys. Another Jeep here. It's pretty cool, man. AEV Another Jeep over here Another Gladiator These things are super cool dude <laughs> Have you guys seen the evolution of me just yeah. falling in love with this Jeep this is different. I want to see this. Cargo glide. What do we got here with a cargo glide? Oh, I want to see how this works. Oh, yes, I want to see how this works. <laughs> so it looks like this slides on this system here. You push it up and boom. I really like that. You don't necessarily need to have 
the bike set up like that, but that's kind of cool. Dude, dude, those are electric bikes. No way, you gotta be kidding me. That's crazy. There's another one. They have some cool accessories. This company is cool. It's called Cargo Glide, guys. Check them out. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. You see, this is this is why this is why I'm willing to go ahead and buy one of these these trucks. Because think about it. Look, look. You have one of these cargo glides. You put your kayak. You put your mountain bike. You get lost, and uh, you don't come back for a couple of days. And you still have all the space. Look at this little cooler there. That's a huge innovation, guys. It's like one of the guys said earlier, he goes, life is much better when you don't need ice. Here's another nice one. Um, this one's at the Bullet Liner um, section. Some Mickey Thompson wheels. Um, wow, man, this thing looks super cool. There's another one here. What's this? Jeeps guys. What do we got here? Steer smarter. I don't know what those guys do, but they look like they're having fun. Alright, so we are on the upper levels and now we are gonna go down to the lower level. What do you say? I mean I know there's a lot of tires and stuff like that, so I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's see what, uh, dude. This thing, this show is like prepare to walk for days. I mean, we're talking about a big boy show. Uh, let's go see some. So we got the jeeps here. This is the actual jeep. jeep. What is this? Wow, this looks mean. Five quarter. Wow, this is crazy. Five quarter. Dude, look at this. Sweet! Wow. Five quarter gun. Wow. Dude, crazy. Absolutely crazy. Let's look at another Gladiator here. This is the simple Jeep version, guys. So this is how you're gonna get them if you buy them, right? I guess. I mean, what's this? J JT Scrambler. Oops, sorry. It's okay. Wow, that's a lot taller. A lot taller, right? Yeah, because uh, the hard top has the next
like I like this. Uh, oh, look at that! I checked out that company. So they have basically bolt. I, I talked about about them earlier. All they do is all you need is one key. Man, let me tell you, I am I am impressed to say the least. Oh my goodness, what is this? What is this, guys? How's this for? How did how did how did they manage to do this? All right, so these are Mamba wheels. And, uh, they're using some Cooper tires. Innovative auto op uh, creations. This is, I guess, a custom from this company. It's called Innovative. To this is this is this is crazy. Another one over here. Guys, this is Gladiator Central. The Gladiators have taken over. Literally. I mean, isn't it always isn't that always the case? I think just to, because you have so many options to post so many different cool things that are unique to every type of individual, it makes this truck extremely appealing. Extremely appealing. Oh, well, they locked this one. Guess we can't show inside. Off to the next Jeep. There's another one. Tires and wheels, guys. There's another one over here. Look at these wheels. But I see another gladiator. What do we have behind curtain number four, Jimmy? Boom! Another gladiator. <coughs> if you guys haven't gotten an idea of how capable these boats are, I'm sorry, these. Um, So we have another one here. Mickey Thompson's. We got some. This thing's undisputed. Mickey Thompson. Look at this. I think these are kind of sexy. I like these. I'm digging these. What do you guys think? Smash a like if, uh, I don't know, Mickey Thompson's are for you. If you're a Mickey Thompson guy, represent! They got some incredible stuff over here. Um, they told me, they told me, hey, you got to go to check out this other one that's outside. So they told me where it's at. I'm going to surprise you guys. But um, look, I'm, I'm about to go outside. But before I go outside, I want to show you guys one of the ones that are right at the front. So we have Cooper tires here. And... Uh, Nice one here. Wow. Really, really nice. I'll tell you, I'm really liking this. Is, is this a paint job? No, this is a wrap. No, this is a wrap. Guys, this is a metallic wrap. How cool is that? Dude, that is super sharp. It looks really nice. Very nice. Alright, so let's go outside. We're gonna do this outside, guys. Let's go see if there's some amazingness outside. I don't know. <laughs> I've definitely had a lot of fun with the people here at the show. You know? um, we're gonna have to... <laughs> We're gonna have to hope my wife didn't see this video. She's gonna be like, oh, I thought you were there working. I was like, well, I was, kind of. Maybe? I don't know. I tell her, look, I tell her all the time, I sell fun for a living. What do you want me to do, babe? What do you want me to do? I sell fun for a living. Well, the shop So, 
I don't know. Let's go. Let's go outside. We're we're almost outside. We have our pass. Oh yeah. Maybe carbon fiber here. You could just like look at this. Look at that. Uh, not right now. And we are outside, gentlemen, here at the SEMA show. We're outside, so get ready. It's gonna get it's gonna get a little crazy right now. Here's another one outside. So. <laughs> I don't know guys I don't know maybe somebody came over here and just hung out on this look this this person has literally used this to get themselves out of situations so another one over here another Jeep over here the ARB um, look at that truck over there that's crazy some other Jeeps over there so. I wonder. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this, guys. What do you think? That you think that car is light enough? I don't know. It looks light, light enough to me. Um, this is the one. Get ready. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one I want you guys to see that we're gonna see when the end of the world is happening. This is what you're gonna see right here. You're gonna see a thousand of these coming at you and you're like, no, no, please, anything but this. God, that is the monster of all monsters. Yep. So, dude, this is beyond insane. Beyond insane, okay? So, They'll capture you, they'll put you back there, and then they take you to... We can't disclose that in this video. It'll be next video, guys. Look at this. Wow, that is sick. That is crazy. Look, you have your own little... That is too nuts. Line X, guys. Look at all this, man. Wow. What do you guys think? Smash that like if you think uh, this is the monster of all monsters. I mean, I'd be scared to see this coming, pulling up to my house. Alfred Montana, where are you at? I'm, I'm not here. It's really not me. No. I know, I know, guys. I know. Smash a like if you hate the commentary. I, you know, I, I really, I'm trying to, trying to make sure I get some engagement out of it, my haters. Look at this one. No, guess not. Let's go guys, there's more Jeeps to see. There's more Jeeps to see. We're watching all of them. We're gonna find them all. Hey, so we got Redland Motorsports here. Showing off one Jeep. It's cool, I like that. Here's another one from them representing. Hey guys, if you guys are watching this and you guys know these people, smash a like for them, man. And if you've seen any of these videos, and you know some of the people who, you know, maybe you guys like their products, smash a like for them too, you know, so it can get pushed. Look at that, that is details, I love that. Yeah, that's insane. Look at this guys, look at the setup. Oh my God, this is crazy. Razor Auto is over here. 
Um, looking cool. But guys, I want to go ahead and talk. We're going to see some cool stuff now in a, in a minute, but I also want you guys to see it's not it's not a jeep but i thought it was so incredible that you guys have to see this oh my god guys oh my goodness yeah guys look at this Wesley's not here, huh? Wesley's not here. He's not? Oh, oh my. Is he close? I might have to buy him a beer if he comes, so do it. I want I'm feel I'm filming and I want I want him to talk about this okay. right. sick, sick specimen. I don't even know. I'm doing a Jeep Jeep video and you guys are in it. You're not even a Jeep. That's how <laughs> that's how bad this is. This is crazy. Guys. <laughs> so But how sick is this? Unbelievable stuff, man. Look at the doors. Dude, guys, I mean, wait, let me give a perspective here. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold, hold on a second. Just get this perspective. Look, look out, look, look at me. That's how, that's how big those rims are. All right, so we got a road armor here. Also, this looks kind of mean. I like this one. This looks kind of hot. Um, you see a cool one here, guys. I don't know, what do you guys think about this, bad boy? Smash that like if you guys like this one. Look at these wheels. It's crazy. I love this, man, I love this. This is nice. Oh yeah, dude, we got, we got, we were able to open it up. Beautiful, man. This is sick. I can't come out here, man. I, I didn't even expect to buy a truck, and I, but I'm showing you the footage, which is what matters. So I'm, I'm giving you guys the behind the scenes over here. So here's another one. It's a Wrangler. Wildland top, so you can go ahead and sleep. There's another one over here. Let's go check this one out. What do you guys think about this one? So many cool accessories. How do these guys set themselves apart other than having incredible stuff you guys want to check us out look 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 check it out check it out that can be you that can be you sleeping in there with this gladiator we go we do we go everywhere everywhere and we just find more of them and i'll tell you what i'm really liking this one i'm liking the wheel setup on this toyo wheels with grid off-road now i'm really i'm really really digging these wheels see this this setup i like open country uh 40 by 15 by 50 r24 lt you keep on oh wait 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 is there a business card here i don't know <laughs> crazy beautiful dude grid off-road guys this stuff is like I mean incredible stuff dude I'm really liking those wheels wow it's insane to say the least well you can't say I haven't found them all all right guys so it's it's early in the show but throughout the show we've been seeing a lot of these fuel tanks 
and uh, you have all these types and guess what I found the company who makes the majority of them that I've seen on the show so um, we got some here that are kind of cool I mean I'm kind of digging this look at that different ones I guess if you want to carry different types of fuel um, I like this here too this is kind of cool maybe a gallon and a half maybe and this is I guess if you're stuck in the mud I seen a bunch of these on there too this is kind of cool I needed that in Utah hopefully the rental car company didn't hear that that got a 4x4 dude what do you think I'm not gonna take it to through the mud it's a rental I'm not like you haven't done the same thing come on stop back and brand new all right, I think we have another uh, Jeep over here. Let's look at this one. This one looks kind of hot. It's a little, get ready. I don't think we've seen this one yet. K-Man. Wow. Dude, what is up with this? I like it. Me likes a lot. And here's the king. Who wants to talk about this? I know you guys are gonna do a walkthrough right now. Any of us. I just I'm doing a video on like the trucks. I just talked to the people from Full Throttle Suspension, and they have your shocks on there. So I just wanted to get a little feedback on the King shocks. Okay. Do you have any like specifics, like our bolt-on kits, our race shocks? Listen, right now I'm doing a video. Shocks, UTV on, shocks. Here's the thing, right? So I'm a boat guy, so I don't know much about this. Let's get over here because so that thing is going crazy. So, so here's what I'm doing. I'm doing a video. Since I'm here at the show, I'm a boat guy. I don't really know about trucks and all that stuff. But I'll tell you what, I'm really excited about what's what I've seen at the show. This stuff is amazing. The Gladiator, the Jeep Gladiator has got me like drooling over here. I see that truck normally not even set up and I'm like, wow, this is uh, whatever. Over here at SEMA, it's incredible. All the stuff that they could do that. So this video I'm doing between Jeeps and also these big trucks. They had a... I think an F-150 or maybe a 250 with your suspension system on it. So I wanted to talk about it so people can kind of know a little bit about your brand. So say, say maybe somebody wants to put it on a Gladiator or or just explain to the novice like me, what are the differences of the shocks that you guys carry? Sure. Well, over here we have some examples of our actual JT or Gladiator shock. This is an example of the rear shock. It's a large two and a half inch diameter body, it's a steel body come standard with our short fin reservoirs to help keep the shocks cool and performing at their best. They come also standard with our shaft guards to help protect the shafts, keep the shocks running uh, much much more efficiently longer. We also have uh, bolt-on front shocks that come, okay. come with remote reservoirs and the brackets to attach it to the chassis. Also standard with fin reservoirs and also come standard with shaft guards. They're designed to bolt right in for different lifts. So we have like a zero to two inch lift. Mm -hmm. And we have a shock that'll fit a two and a half to five inch lift. And we have a shock for six inch lift. So we've got you covered no matter what kind of lift you're gonna put on it. So what are the ranges of price points? Um, so they start Jason? at 949 per pair. Okay. And if you get the adjuster version, it's gonna be around 1150 to 1275 per pair. When you say adjuster version, what, is, what does that mean? So on the top here, what we have pictured is what we call our compression adjuster. Okay. It's a, it's a little dot knob that allows you to make the shocks dampening firmer or softer. So if you're okay. one of those guys that's like a real soft plush ride on the street, okay. you can soften the shock up to get that. If you like a sporty, sort of firm sort of feel, you can do that as well. And that, you said, is about 1100 Between 1100 and, and 1300 depending on the shock. Sweet, guys. Hey, you saw it here. You've seen it on the trucks everywhere. They're over here in all the trucks. The people at King, off-road racing shocks. Jason, thanks so much, man. I right, appreciate man. you. You have a good one. All right, all right, all right. So, I have seen the same kind of brand. Your friend just flicked you off. You caught that, right? I caught that. You, you ca I caught it on camera? I, I did. I got it. Don't okay, worry about it. We'll okay. hold it against them, too. We'll leave it on there. I won't get demonetized because of that. <laughs> so, I've been seeing... Um, a suspension system on a lot of these gladiators while I'm here and I found the company that has them. Uh, we're with Evo MFG and uh, this is our new suspension kit for the gladiator 
We got the, our double throwdown kit is coilover bypasses in the front. Our top of the line, we believe it's the best kit out there for the Gladiator. Uh, it's adjustable and it's a built to go fast. And then we also got that paired up with our bolt-on coilover kit in the back. Okay. Uh, it's just a 2.5 coilover. Oh, hold on, let this guy finish up real quick. So. Today is our final day and our hours are Quick intermission for SEMA. We know. The show is officially open now, so we're good. And okay. then uh, we also got all our new uh, all our new products on it. We got our new our new bed rack for it. This thing is indestructible almost. You can set yeah. whatever you want on it. And this, the only thing that's going to crush is the bed, not our bed rack. Nice. Uh, and then we got our new, our new half rack for it too. So you can set some stuff on the roof. You can still use the freedom panels and everything on it. Okay. And we got our new uh, and we got our new rock sliders for it too on here. And we're paired up with uh, King Shocks, best spec shocks in the business. And then uh, Dana Spicer axles. We've been using them for a while now. Mm -hmm. uh, 60s front and rear. And then we're running uh, Nitto 40s and KMC wheels. So, and what what else can they can they find out about the suspension that that I would you would say is kind of like a competitive advantage why what somebody's in the market you know the yeah. good thing about this video i'm putting i'm putting i'm not even biased i'm a, I'm a boat guy yeah you yeah know? for sure but I, I you know what i'm really intrigued with what you guys are doing over here at sema there's so many of these gladiators and honestly i'm kind of like digging this truck now because of yeah, all the cool stuff that you it, can man. put you on can it you can do whatever you want to it now i don't want to be the guy that doesn't have the right stuff yeah so you guys be like oh he just got this or that so i want i want the top of the line or the best stuff yeah so what what makes you guys you know on the top you know echelon of what you guys do what what, what makes your you so, guys stand out so we we try to stay stay of the art with the best fastest kits uh we take our kits out and we actually prove them mm -hmm. uh not this one we just took through the same same kind of kit we took through uh seven days of hell okay jumping rocks sliding over rocks a uh, whole trip two thousand miles mm -hmm. seven days and then uh we also not on the gladiator but on our jk stuff which is very similar okay we've raced baja 1000 we've raced king of the hammers on so we try to prove our stuff we take it through hell and back and uh, we try to make the fastest, smoothest riding shit you can get. And you guys, and you guys said you have some type of partnership with with King. Yeah, King Shocks. We've been working with them for a while. Uh, in our opinion, it's the best shock you can pair it up with. Mm -hmm. uh, they're right down the street. They're one of our main sponsors too. And then uh, we also pair up with KMC Wheels, which is one of the best wheels you can get, and Nitto tires. Mm -hmm. and we never had one problem with any of them. What's up with this? Is this carbon fiber? Uh, these are new prototype carbon fibers that Anderson Composite made for us. Okay. And then. Uh, and where are they out of? Maybe you can give them a shout out. Um, I think they're out of uh, they're out of Orange County somewhere in California. Nice. I'm, I'm not too sure where. Dude, this thing is crazy. So, any other uh, any other products that you guys uh, build other than the ones we just talked about? Uh, none of the other products are ours, but uh, decked decked. Uh, hooked us up with one of their uh, systems for the back of the car you can pull it out and you can have all kinds of boxes and everything okay, sweet and so that, that's pretty sweet right there too and that's uh, that's pretty much everything and these are uh, KMC actually made some custom wheels for us which are pretty cool these are custom block wheels that they just machined out uh, only KMC 20 inch wheels out there right now nice. that that wheel right there is one of five which one. is a pretty cool thing to have one. on this car especially here at the SEMA show yeah so if they wanted to go online, where do they go to find this uh, product? To find this product, you can go on Evo MFG to mm -hmm. look up the product. You can buy it off of a site called Offward Evolution. That's our shop. Mm -hmm. That's uh, my dad's shop. We build stuff out of there. I'll be there every day working. Cool. Um, and that's where you can get it. And uh, thank you for having us. One last question. What's the price point, price ranges? We don't have to talk about like, okay. you know, but I know yeah, I'm right? sure it could go as high as people want. Yeah, So so this build right here, if you want the same exact build, I quote out a couple of them. Mm -hmm. I'm looking around sixty grand okay. for uh, without the without the vehicle, just in parts. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go anywhere from uh, you go anywhere from a from a whatever price range you want. That's what you can get. Well, I just saw I, I just saw a UTV down there, a yeah. BRP UTV. The guy said he's got one hundred and sixty thousand dollars into it. I believe in it, a man. side by side. This I believe guys, it, man. This place is insane. When I tell you, you you're you're talking about like maybe the top hundred cars in the nation yeah i believe they're it. all there's, here there's stuff here that 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 you can't buy yeah so so that, that probably has many man hours in it and you just can't buy it is this one for sale or no this one is uh this one's for sale uh it's right around 120. 
which okay. is what we're trying to sell it for. Uh, okay, so if somebody wanted that, they can reach out to you guys to the same. Yeah, you can reach out to us for off at offerdevolution.com or cool. uh, call up Offer Evolution and uh, we can get you hooked up. We're gonna use it for a little. We're gonna use it until you we want to get it dirty. <laughs> we, we yeah, we want we want to prove our stuff and uh, yeah. our stuff's proven. Uh, same build like this, just went through hell and back. Nice. All right, guys, over here, Evo at Simo, baby. Ah, I'm liking this. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. What do we got here? I need to go camping, wander. How cool is that, guys? You want to go camping? You don't want to be, you know, on the cold ground. You want to be in the back of your, you know, gladiator. Oh, look at this. Look at these wheels. It's, it's got some black rhino wheels. This is very nice, guys. Very nice truck. Actually, yeah, it's a cheap truck. It has road armor. This is absolutely crazy. Hello. So let me ask you, I'm filming for YouTube. You guys, you guys make this just for the Gladiator? No, it's, it's not um, model specific, it's size specific. So we make a full size short, full size long, compact short, compact long, quad cabs. So, it, so this uh, just basically fits for most cabs that are of the same size. From five to an eight foot bed. Wow, and you also guys, you also make this one here for like car camping? Yeah, this is our uh, dome to go. Uh, it's a bit of a smaller version. We have a larger version that would fit your Cadillac Escalades or a truck with a cast on what is what is something like like for instance on the gladiator what is something like this cost this this little setup right here more or less uh 280 280 for like yeah. 300 bucks you can stay off the floor when it's cold yeah. you know no bugs no ants no nothing and you're the do line, which is kind of why he started this company in the yeah. first place he was getting wet yeah he's not a big camper but when he was camping he'd wake up in the morning all Damn yeah. From the dew. Well, this keeps you above the dew line. Where, where can they go online to check out this uh, na Napier? Is that the, the what it's called? Napier. 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 Where Absolutely. can they go online? Napieroutdoors.com. All right, guys. If you want to check uh, Napieroutdoors.com, and this specific model is which model is this one? The specific model. This one is the 57 series. 57 series, guys. Right here, truck tent. There you have it. I mean, I guess you have to get your own mattress. Yep. You or have to get your own mattress. Oh, your little airbed. All right, guys. We're out of here. Incredible stuff. I mean, this, this is why I want one of these trucks. Razor off-road here. It's got a nice little Jeep. So. Nice one, another one here. Look at this one, guys. What, this is Rhino Rack. There's so many accessories, dude. Look at this. Look at this. How crazy is that? Rhino Rack is this company, guys. So check them out, look at them up, uh, find them online. Another one here. Razor off road again. Let's see. Let's see what we're talking about. Horn blasters. So what do we have at Horn Blasters? What do we have here, guys? Everybody's running. Everybody's running from the camera. So I'm doing a video about Jeeps on YouTube. Cool. So why is everybody running? Where did everybody go? Where, where? Don't run neither. <laughs> so tell me about it. I mean, can we make noise or no? No, we can't. It, it's too loud. It's too loud? Yeah, yeah, yeah. unfortunately. All right, but 
guess what? Maybe you can talk about the horn? Yeah, absolutely. All, all right, so, yeah. so, so tell this me. This is our brand new JLU kit that we just released. Uh, it's set up with a two gallon tank, a Bayer 380C compressor. Uh, it's designed to be using factory holes on the vehicle. So you don't have to drill any new holes to be able to mount the components that come with it. Okay. Uh, it doubles as an onboard air system as well. So if you wanted to fill up your tires, use any other inflatables, you have the ability to do so as well. Nice. Maybe an inflatable boat? Yeah, inflatable boat or even your inflatable girlfriend. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> hey girls, let me tell you, how, much, how many times has he used that one? That was pretty good. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you something. I'm, I, I, was, I, was, I was shocked. I didn't know people in Vegas had it in them. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> go ahead, clap back, clap back. Look at him, don't worry about it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> All right. Now, you know why? Because I fix inflatable boats okay. on YouTube. So, I mean, I want to. I'm, I'm show, showing all the Jeeps and stuff like that. And I'm so amazed with all the things that they have. Here. Like, so many accessories after accessories. I don't even like Jeeps. <laughs> but I came over to the show and I was like, dude, I'm starting to love these things because yeah. of all the things you can put on. Sure, they're really so, popular. Yeah, and the Gladiator has like got me like kind of like a little bit of... Yeah, that's a really so, awesome one. So, so it's, it's cool. It's, it's a truck. And at the same time, I can trick it out and, you know, oh, yeah. let waste my wife's money i don't know no, i know my wife's gonna be like hey look no more jeeps get rid of your boat <laughs> you want a jeep fine no problem get rid of your boat i'm like oh no no, no, no but, don't do that. but but so where would they install this horn so if you look in the mirror here you'll actually be able to see where it's actually mounted it uses factory holes on the vehicle itself so you mount the tank the compressor and the horns all underneath the vehicle itself it works out pretty well uh, and you can use it again for just about any other use outside of the horns as well. You can fill up your tires, inflatables, air tools, anything else you can think of. Hey, maybe we can get my inflatable girlfriend to get some Windex and clean that glass. Oh, <laughs> boom! It's about time, huh? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Hey, you I, right. had to, I had to come back. I <laughs> you had to right. come back. <laughs> See that? We don't ever stay hit over here. All right, so where can they go online quick? Hornblasters.com. Hornblasters, guys. Say bye to the people at YouTube. Off to the next Jeep. All right, guys, so I want to see if this thing works. So if you see here, so let me go and go to these people and ask them real quick. Man, I speak English. <laughs> oh, God, I gotta go. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Uh, but let me, let me ask you a question okay is this meaning for meaning i mm -hmm. just put right here it makes sense but we usually don't say it that way okay uh -huh. so i put i am a content creator on youtube how did it, how did it translate it makes sense so uh-huh it makes sense people can understand you if you translate that way so what it what it actually told you what is it that it said uh um, the way that that you 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 read it you are a creator you will create some content on youtube on youtube, on YouTube. yes uh-huh so it's pretty accurate yeah it's pretty accurate yeah okay it's just too formal you know people don't say like okay so all right we got to get the i guess the what ghetto version of how do you talk in i don't know yeah. in the hood i don't know Learn the <laughs> yeah i need to i need the slang talk over here uh -huh. all right guys so look it works um so wait while i'm here i'm doing a jeep video yeah do you guys offer anything for Jeeps? Yeah, definitely. Come have a look. This is our Jeep Grand Cherokee. We're using injection molding, so it is more flexible and resilient than rubber. Okay. And we have a special design right here. We put a ridge over here, so this part will never fold up. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a lot of Gladiator Jeeps mm -hmm. and JKs at the show. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have uh, any of those here or, or can we get them? We have JK, Gladiator, is uh, the mold is being made, it's going to come real soon. You'll love it. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Can you guys send me a sample of the JK that you have? Definitely, we can send you a sample. If you send me a sample, I will give it to one of the, the subscribers mm -hmm. on my channel. Oh, they're lucky. So, they're going to love my product. Okay, but listen. Mm -hmm. I need to shake on this because I don't want to look bad. No problem. You're going to bring it. Definitely. Okay, I guys, will. we got it. Okay. We got, we're going to get a sample. And if she sends it, we're going to do, I don't know. We'll fi figure out before this video is over what number a commenter you have to be 
to get this for a JK, right? Yeah. Alright guys, we're gonna do this. Hey, I don't know, maybe we can hit this thing's gonna really help me out today. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. Hey Thank guys, you. what's the name of the company real quick? Where can they go online? It's 3W okay. Floor Mats. 3W Floor Mats? Yeah, formats. you can find it on our own website, 3Wliners.com. Okay. Or you can find it on uh, uh, Amazon. Amazon. Yes. All right, guys. Hey, mm -hmm. I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a Thank good one. Thank you. You too. Bye. All right, guys. I think we have found... Uh, yeah, I would say this is a... Yeah, this is a monster, to say the least. What do you guys think? I got so much amazing footage. Do you know this man? Do you know this man? Do you know this man? Stop. Six million views a day. It's a crazy he, man. He's fibbing. It's a, have a look. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a channel. Get away from me, Libero! He looks like a movie star. Hey, yeah. I, got, I got the video for you. Guys. Yeah. This is the Pad Express. Look, come here. Put that away. Come. I'm, I'm closing the video, but I want to use. Okay, I do. I do. Pad, go, go. Show Pad Express. We're oh, I'm not having those. Pad Express, guys. Quick, okay. real quick. Have show look, me the system. Look. Okay. Okay. Show, this uh, is when you have a light, light completely dead. Okay. Okay. Right, okay. Libra, we have to do this fast. Okay. Oh, fast. Okay. All right, guys. Oh, this my is God. my sponsor for this video. Come on, okay. we're gonna do this. All right, I'll hold this here. So look. This this is the. So one side is it's dead, a... and there's a line right there in the middle. Okay. So he's. Doing one side. Look, Libro, do this corner right here. Okay, I do the corner here. Are you ready? All right, we're ready. Are you ready for Go. the next phase? Okay, the product okay. is inside the foam. Okay, there's like a reservoir Express, inside. Okay. okay, wait, 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 let me see that. Boom. Okay, cool. Boom. Okay. That's quick, dude. That is quick, quick, quick. Oh my God. Guys, you see that difference? Look at that, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. <laughs> All right, quick, show me the Pad Express, the actual for the cars. Same system, for the cars. but pads. Okay. This one is for the optics. Okay, this is for- Optics. For, for optics. here. Okay. All right, all right, cool. This is for paint right? Show them how it works. Guys, remember, in all the Pad Express systems, it's the coolest system out there because the compound that you're gonna need to polish your car is inside with the actual foam. So you put it, he's using a Milwaukee machine, taps it, boom. How cool is that, guys? And it'll dry. Where can they go online to check out Pad Express? On uh, padexpress.fl.us. We have a website as soon as possible in two weeks. I think we can sell immediately. Okay, guys, listen. If you don't have it, I have access to Liberal on my site, luxuryriptenders.com. Okay? Yeah, yeah. And to the other one in America goes on. Okay. You got it? Guys, thank you for participating. This is my sponsor, Liberal. This is guy, this guy's crazy. Get away from me. Get away from me, guy. At the show here at SEMA. We're out of here.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. How is that even possible? How is that even possible? How did keep it off this wall? How is that even possible? I'm out of here, guys. I'm gonna end the show here. I'm done. How is that even possible? Hey, um, guys, Seema, unbelievable. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you can come out here, try to make it happen, dude. It's an, it's an, a crazy, incredible experience. Like the video if you enjoyed all the Jeeps of the show. And uh, if you can get out here, make it happen. I'm out of here. I'm from Montana. Hey, don't forget to watch my boat videos.